Welcome back to the 504. Mia X is hanging out with us tonight and she has so much stuff going on. She actually just completed her cookbook memoir, Things My Grandma Told Me, Things My Grandma Showed Me. It's due out this fall and tonight we are getting a taste. This is one I want to see you in action in the kitchen. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about the cookbook. What made you want to do this? Well, my grandmother was known for saying so many outrageous things yeah. on top of being an excellent cook. And I spent so much time in the kitchen with her and talking to her about my problems. And so when I was sitting down thinking about her one day, because she passed in 2001, mm -hmm. I decided to put some of the things that she said to me uh, when I was going through certain things, as well as some of her recipes in a book. All right, so. nice. So is this one of them? So this is my own recipe, ah, actually. Okay. Yes, this is my spin on the surf and turf, New yeah. Orleans style. This is going to be surf and turf stew. And okay. This is your turf All chicken right. breast. Your surf is going to be your shrimp and your crawfish. Nice. All right, so this is one of your original whip-ups. Yeah. All right, you are so different in the kitchen. You're so serious. You've been so oh, focused God. getting set up for the food. <laughs> I love that you take this so seriously. So break it down. Tell me how you make this. Okay, so you have to start with your trinity. Okay. Onion, garlic, bell pepper, celery. Okay, I love that you Bam. throw it over uh -huh. as you do it. There yes, you go. okay. And so we have some chicken breasts. We have some shrimp and crawfish, like I said. So I like to cook with grapeseed, Earl. Okay. So what we're going to do. And since you New Orleans, it's Earl. It's Earl. I love that you say grapeseed Earl. Mm -hmm. Just like my dad. Yeah, they, All say, right. they say Mia is frying it in a man named Earl. I have never cooked with grapeseed oil. Well, hmm. you know what I noticed? You know I have to skim as much. OK. You know it absorbs really well and it's good. All right. So put a little bit in a pan. And it's like lime green. I know, it looks fun. But it's like delicious. Really? It's like, oh, okay. you can put it on your face. Yeah. No wrinkles at all. <laughs> all right, whatever you're doing is working, so I'm going <laughs> to try that out. So, I like to season up and let things marinate what a little bit. What you got season on? So, let me tell you, this is my concoction. Oh. I like to take a lot of dry spices and play on them. So, if you have dry spices in your house, mm -hmm. onion powder, garlic powder. <laughs> Creole season. Just Paprika, throw them all together. Just throw it all together. I you love know, it. Let that hang out for a while. Okay. But while our pot is getting hot, first thing you're gonna do is your seasoning. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you want your onions to cook till they kind of translucent. Now the reason why I went, well, you see, I have all these different color bell peppers. Yeah. You know when you cook in stew. You see carrots and different things, uh -huh. beautiful colors that make the stew. So I did that just to make it pretty. Oh, this is just a, okay, all yeah, right. but it's going to add you some make flavor. make it pretty. Oh, Tilt girl, it so they can see it there. Look how right, pretty for TV that world. is. It actually uh -huh. is really pretty. All right, nice. Yeah, so, you know, now. Nah. And I how like long does it take hands. to make in real life? Because you know we're in TV world, so. So, I'm going to tell y'all, in real life, it takes like about an hour and a half. Ooh. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you cook in your roux, you want to cook it like 20 or 30 minutes so it can oh, brown okay. to the way you like it. This is so, a serious meal. Yeah. So now, while this is getting a little saute on for a couple of seconds, mm -hmm. the first thing you're going to throw in is your shrimp because your shrimp cook uh, relatively fast. Okay. And your crawfish cook faster. But because this is stew, I want my shrimp to get a little color. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to take it all out and let it chill. And then, then we'll put get it all back, back to together. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cook with so much attitude. I yeah, love it. Girl, I see that right there. Oh my goodness. So, what's your favorite recipe from your grandma that's in the cookbook? So, my favorite recipe from my grandmother is the bell peppers mm -hmm. because she was notorious for mixing meats. Oh, so, like, so what we, would she put in hers? We, we ground hot sausage, we ground smoked nice. sausage, we ground ground beef, we ground to taste the ham. Uh huh. So, yeah, the different flavors, the different meat flavors are like awesome. Really cool. And I hear mm -hmm. this cookbook is unconventional. You said there's a couple of curse words in it? Too many curse words. <laughs> How do you get curse words in a cookbook? Well, okay, so my grandmother used to say stuff like, your pocketbook don't make him stay. Your pocketbook. Your pocketbook. But she didn't say pocketbook. I'm saying pocketbook because we on TV. Your pocketbook <laughs> don't make him stay. It make him skeet. No, no. The way that his heart is not through your drawers. I see. So when I was around here talking about I was fine and everything, Get this a little seasoning. Uh huh. She let me know that I needed to have a little more things than just finding a cute face going on. Girl, your grandma sounds like she was hilarious. She was married 56 years. 
book. She deserves the book in her honor. I can't wait to read and, this one. Yes, and so, you know, I would have problems and I would tell her, well, when he's saying this, I'm thinking he's saying that. And she was like, don't twist his words to fit your feelings. Ooh. If he said it, he mean it. And Believe wisdom him. and truth, mm -hmm. huh? All right, I so like now, that. If a young man come to your house and he tell you he not ready for a relationship. Guess what? And he's, you still let him mm -hmm. lay under you. He's still not ready for a relationship. Girl, she taught you some stuff, oh, huh? Girl. Oh, girl. Right. But I still was stuck on stupid. Everybody's stuck on stupid <laughs> sometimes. It takes us all a while to get to a certain point. Right. So what I'm doing here, I just really want my shrimp to get a color. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take it out. All right, well, you're going to have to keep cooking. You know TV world. You oh, throw yes. in the crawfish next? Yes. And crawfish then you throw in the chicken. Crawfish in next. No. No. Chicken you can just tell different. me what we do next, because we're out of time. They'll have to figure yeah. out the rest when the cookbook We're going to brown out. the chicken, but I can show you what this looks like when, when it's all done. Okay, great. Okay. We'll uncover that. We'll see the finished product. Okay. There you go. Whip it up. Bam. Unveil. Wait, let me get a spoon. Let's start it There's the finish. All right, guys. You stir, and I will take us to break. Well, one Boom. actress is talking about how hard it is to be pretty in Hollywood, and... <sighs> Then we've got Miss Carrie Washington, who is upset about some major photoshopping on a recent magazine cover. We'll talk about that all on Monday. But tonight, Mia X is sticking with us. We are so lucky. And she's going to get a little fun in with us. We've got game time. Stay with us. <laughs>